Yeah, I'm wearing an ice fishing suit. It's pretty cold here right now. But uh, anyways, um, this is just another product that I'd like to recommend. Uh, it's been good. I've had it for probably three years now and it's just been, I haven't had any issues with it at all. And uh, I can comfortably say that I would recommend it to anyone looking for a good ice fishing suit. Um, I'm getting pretty warm here. So I'll, I'll be taking this off and uh, going through some of the, the features of it. But I just wanted to show you what it what it looked like on and, and some of the shots I can't get, you know, handheld. I'm just going to show you. It's got a really nice hood with a bendable wire and it zips up, you know, way up. You can really get out of the elements with this setup. And uh, like I said, I'm getting really warm, so. I'm going to take this off and go through a few things, but uh, just quickly, that's what it looks like. And the bibs. And uh, stay tuned, I'll show you some of the other things. Okay, I'll start off with the bibs here. And I do apologize, I do have a little bit of fish slime on here. They've been getting some pretty good use, so uh, anyways, there's the left side of the bib. And one thing I'll mention real quick is this zipper goes all the way up to the hip. So when you unzip that, you can you can put it on with large boots, and that's one of the reasons I really like this over the uh, the Arctic Armor bibs that I had, which the zippers you know only went up to you know mid thigh maybe. But anyways, uh, another thing it has is these magnetic closures all along here. So when you put them on, it automatically just closes the storm flap. And I don't know if you can hear that or not, but you know it just closes. But anyways. Just uh, zip these up quick. And open those up. Another cool feature about these bibs is it has these adjustable adjustable legs. So right now I have it on the uh, I guess the shortest setting is what I would call it. Anyways, these. Uh, I just Velcro in here, and I might not be able to do this with one hand, so I'm going to set the camera down quick. But so that's the leg strap unvelcroed, and then you can just you know adjust this to whatever length you need for whatever height you are, which is a real cool concept. I don't think you can find that in any other bibs. Uh, you have the uh, waterproof gaiters. That snap around your boot, keep those nice and dry. Articulated knee pads. One thing I did notice uh, on my bibs, at least, the knee pads seem to be a little low. That's one of the uh, things I I would say is uh, a negative about these bibs. Um, but that just might be because I have the wrong size. I'm not sure, but uh, they do seem to ride a little low. Um, another cool feature are these hand towels that just uh, snap on and off. I use them a lot when fishing, you know, I get slimy hands, just wipe them off and actually right now they're pretty crusty, they could probably stand to be washed. You got a pocket here, pocket here, there's also a pass-through to uh, your pants pockets if you have a phone or wallet in there you need to get at. Um, there's also a Sort of a hidden pocket here, a hidden hand warmer pocket up on your chest, which is really nice. And I didn't even know I had those until uh, just recently, which is kind of nice. And they're, they're fleece lined, which is nice. Uh, you have a pocket up here. And pretty much the, uh, the same thing goes for the right leg. Pretty much identical. You got the D-rings. Just a quick shot of the uh, back side of the bibs to show you the padded seat. A little extra padding back there which is nice. Okay we'll start here with the inside of the the parka. First thing you'll notice is the large generous mesh pockets on either side. Lots of storage for your uh, bait pucks and things like that, pliers, whatever. You got inside pockets, you got one here and then one zippered one on the larger one on the outside of that. That's about it for the pockets on the inside. You have some adjustments here you can make to snug it up. 
And here's the outside of the parka. You got a couple D rings here. You got a pocket up here, a pocket up here, a zipper pocket on each side. Then you also have sort of hidden pockets here behind the zipper. I believe there's just one on the one side, yeah. That's another pocket. I, I, I say hidden because I just discovered this one here the other day too. It's You kind of overlook that one. I can say this, with all the pockets uh, that this parka has, um, sometimes you'll find yourself searching for things just because you forget which pocket it goes in. But, but it's really nice. You can really carry a lot of gear around. I'll move over to the uh, arm here and show you this. Actually has a zippered vent, so if you start getting a little warm, you can open that vent up, which is kind of nice if you start overheating. Uh, it has articulated elbows here for nice flexibility. And like you saw in the uh, original shot here, this hood, which uh, Velcro's in, really nice. Adjustable straps, like I said, the, the hood is shapeable. You can shape it to form whatever uh, you need to be there. And that's the uh, front side of the parka. And here's the back side. No lot, not a whole lot to mention here about the back side other than the uh, non-obtrusive logo. It's nice and small. And the uh, nice reflective stripe. There's also some more striping along the cuffs here. I'll mention also that these cuffs are really nice. I forget the uh, the fabric is, but it's it's nice and soft. I know some people uh, get concerned about how heavy a suit is, and you're going to be wearing it all day if it's uh, going to be too heavy. So I just thought I would quickly weigh this. Like about 2.25 pounds. I'll also weigh the bibs here. Looks like about 2.2 uh, pounds, about the same. Okay, so that's the Striker Rice hot water suit. I showed you some of the features. Uh, one of the things I haven't even mentioned yet, which is uh, sort of funny because it's the biggest reason that I chose to buy the suit, um, and that is that it, this suit will actually float. If you fall through the ice, this suit will float you. Uh, keep in mind it's not Coast Guard approved. Um, but you can't tell you're wearing it. It's not like wearing a life jacket or anything and at least it's going to give you a fighting chance. It'll keep you afloat for a couple hours and really that's about all you need if you fall through the ice. It'll give you a chance to get back up on the ice and, and get to warm safety or it'll give your friends you know, a chance to help you out. You'll be, you'll be floating. So um, I haven't had a chance to, to try it out myself. I don't intend to try it out. I hope I never have to try it out. Uh, but it's there, and I'm sure my family and friends appreciate the fact that uh, if I go through, I got a fighting chance. So, um, like I said, as long as there's a floating version available, I'll always select that. And uh, with a quality suit like this, it, it really uh, is a no-brainer to me. Um, I guess that's about all I have to say about the suit. Um, again, I uh, whole, wholeheartedly recommend it if you're looking for a nice fishing suit, especially a floating one. Uh, just take a look at this one. Go out and, and try it on, and I, I think you'll really like it. Um, I'm actually going to head out on the ice right now and do a little fishing. Maybe I'll put up a little footage uh, catching a few crappies. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching.